I'm in the Taylor Fork on a west facing slope of about 8,800 feet. And we're looking at the weak layers in the upper snowpack. We formed these weak layers in the month and a half dry spell in January and early February. And we keep being worried about them every time it snows. Now, finally, uh, we got an unstable uh, test result in our extended column test. On this slope, there's a little bit of a sun crust in here that it's giving enough stiffness to propagate underneath it. So on these slopes that have either a little bit of a sun crust or some wind stiffening, we finally have that slab over the weak layer. So we have the recipe for avalanches. Right now, we don't have much of a load, not too concerned. Starting tonight, tomorrow, the next couple of days, we're supposed to hopefully get a decent bit of snow as we put that load on top. I expect to start seeing avalanches on these weak layers. They're gonna propagate wider and farther, maybe break above you. They're not gonna act like normal storm slab avalanches because they're gonna be breaking on that persistent weak layer and the danger could rise quickly and could stay elevated uh, for a good bit.